Welcome back to Progressive D&D's Spellbook Deep Dive. We're taking a look at the amazing spells of Dungeons and Dragons in a not-so-serious way. Don't forget, slap that subscribe button if it tickles your pickle. Grab your robe and wizard hat and let's get started. We're diving into a darker side of magic with the Create Undead spell. Picture this, you're deep in a dungeon, surrounded by enemies. Your trusty sword has been dulled by all the fighting. You've got one spell slot left, and a strong stomach, let's make some ghouls and even the odds. Now, I know what you're thinking, wait, I'm supposed to be the good guy. Well it's 2023, and we don't do labels anymore homie. Swallow your moral dilemma, and conjure up some undead minions because after all, you can, so you should. Need a distraction? Whip up a ghoul and let it wander around while you sneak past the guards. Sure, sounds innocent enough, so long as we don't talk about where you got the corpse. Want to add some muscle to your bustle? Create a ghoul to fight alongside you and the boys. Just feeling lonely. Ghouls are great listeners, but bad kissers. While not the most socially acceptable thing to do, create undead is insanely powerful. Whip one up after a long rest, and keep them for 24 hours, weekend at Bernie's style. It takes a 6th level slot, and it's got some odd components. You need a pot of grave dirt, a pot of brackish water, and a black onyx worth 150 gold coins. It's not going to be the most portable of spells. Also the spell requires it be night time, but you don't want anyone seeing what you did anyways. At the end of the 24 hours, you must recast the spell or lose control of the ghoul. Next time you are in Wave Echo Cave and surrounded by ghouls, think of the well-meaning necromancer who just forgot to recast Create Undead and keep Raoul the ghoul under his control. It's more of a staffing attrition problem, than an ill-begotten attempt at world domination. So go ahead, whip up your own Abdul the ghoul and just ignore the paladin's side eyes. He's just jelly. 